Hey everybody, so I just wanted to talk about Edith's Zero Waste Playroom. Basically here you are looking at all of her toys and they're all split up into sections. Second hand, handmade, gifts and brand new. This is basically all of them. There are a few things around the house as well. But overall, that is all of them. We try to use all secondhand baskets and boxes to store her toys in as well to reduce our waste. These are all her secondhand toys and we got a lot of them from op shops, some of them from School Fate and then other things were just from things that we've had previously. This one as well was from a buy and sell group. One thing that I always buy brand new for Edith is books. And the reason for that is because I have a certain type of book that I like, like this one for example, and this one which is about the beach near where we live, and this one because the chances of me finding this at an op shop are very, very slim. As musicians as well, Ricky and I did buy some brand new musical instruments for her, but a lot of them were from our local stores so that we are supporting small businesses. We also brought this one brand new, unfortunately it is from Kmart which means the paint is not that great so we will be buying a Grimm's one soon. These other toys are also... I did try and get a lot of them from our local stores rather than from big corporations, but sometimes that is a little bit hard. These are all things that were gifts to us. These were really special. I won them in a giveaway when I was pregnant. This one is even more special because it is actually made by the lady who we named Edith after. These were handmade mostly by me but some were from our local market. I made the teether, I made the doll and I made the felt stones as well. So these are the felt stacking stones. This is a beautiful muslin material that I got from a lady who hand dyes these in Tasmania. Here are a lot of the things that we already had. These are toys that were mine when I was little and Ricky's as well. So these are some of his special toys that he has had for 27 years almost. <laughs> We also have a heap of play silks. These aren't real silk, these are tablecloths and scarves and things, which Edith absolutely loves to play with. And we got these all from op shops for like 10 cents each. And it provides hours and hours of imaginative play for her. These were brought brand new from Aldi, but we did really need some good sized baskets for her toys to be kept in. Even this Moses basket was brought second hand from our local op shop and we keep that in her playroom so that she can have somewhere to lie down and look at her books, which believe me, she does do. Here is a small amount of the toys that I rotate with. So these will be put away while the current ones are put out, which I will show you in the next few clips.
of toys that we will have in her play area at the moment. We choose to rotate, which means that some of our things are put away and then we rotate them. We always leave some rocks out for her as she is obsessed. And of course musical instruments just because she loves making noise and music is good for the soul so we always have some of those in her play area for her. I rotate her wooden toys that make noises and that she plays with as well and I feel like that just keeps things really fresh for her. Her books always stay out as does this little doll and then I like to put a little thing in there as well which she finds and gets really excited about it. We usually keep a few little felt animals out and I rotate between her rainbow and a stacker which is in her bedroom most of the time. I also do keep out her play silks because she loves them. At the moment she has her stacking rocks but sometimes that will be something else as well like her bead maze or some wooden blocks. But basically this is her play area. It's as zero waste as we have possibly been able to make it and it is also Steiner inspired. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this all over the place video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.